Facts back. School phase MTG. So today, I'm running a competitive deck. I know I like to run the, the jank beat face decks that, you know, use experimental cards that nobody else is playing with. And that's all fun. That's all fun. I love doing that. But today, I felt like building something competitive. So I did. So I brewed up this Naya mutate list. This deck is actually very strong. I played this in Mythic Rank and I, I won, I think, maybe out of out of 15 games, I think I won 13. No, I, I won 12. So yeah, 12 out of 15 games in Mythic Rank. Um, I beat all kinds of meta decks with this. I beat Control. I beat Mono Red. I beat Lures. This deck owns Lures. So if you're looking for something that can compete against Lures, um, I know Lures is a, lot of, is a problem for a lot of people. Um, this deck is definitely uh, capable of handling lures. So you'll see in the gameplay. Um, this deck, like I said, it turned out to be really, really strong. Everybody knows how I feel about the mutate mechanic. I haven't really been a fan of it. You know, I did the green mutate, the mono green mutate deck, and it was strong. But it has its weaknesses, um, as does any mono green deck. Um, but this is another mutate build, and, and I, I like this because... It actually turned out to be very strong. I, I wouldn't endorse a mutate deck if I if it wasn't strong. So this deck is really strong. If you like generating tons of tokens, this deck will just litter the field with tokens and you'll just totally obliterate and overrun your opponent. Um let's get into the, the, the deck tech. So I got four Grazer, four Goose, uh four Regal Leosar, four Krinko, four Banishing Light, uh three Unbreakable Formation. Four Vivian Champion of the Wilds, uh, four Cub Warden, three King Singzar Ancient Guardian, aka Hunt Master Liger, uh, two Destroyer Perfect Life Form, aka Everquill Phoenix, um, and two Majestic Oriacon. Uh, I actually I might cut one of these Oriacons and put uh, an extra uh, Phoenix in because the Phoenix is just that good in this deck. Um, and then I got for the lands I got 22 lands, so I got three planes. Uh, four, uh, three, three mountain, three forest, three stomping ground, four sacred foundry, three temple gardens, and one of each of the scry, uh, lands. So, uh, deck list is in the description. Um, but basically these cards, so hear me out here, hear me out, because I know a lot of people might be looking at Vivian, like why is Vivian in this deck? So Vivian. I was looking for when I first booted up the list for this deck, um, I kept running into counterspell decks. Counterspells are any creature based decks nightmare. So Vivian was the perfect answer for that because if you get a turn two Vivian online, your your opponent is gonna have a very hard time. So that is the reason for these one drop mana accelerants here. These are very essential to the deck because you wanna get a turn two Krinko or a turn two Vivian on the board. It, it makes your opponent absolutely have to answer them right away or they're going to fall so they're going to fall behind too quickly that they won't be able to recover so vivian she allows you to you know cast all your creature spells with flash it is insane to mutate at the end of your opponent's turn with flash it is insane okay because you flash just just picture this you flash in krinko okay and that's at the end of your opponent's turn now it's your turn now you play a cub warden on to krinko now you're generating two cats. You're going to swing with a a what is it a four a four five four six Krinko, and generate four goblins. And now your opponent is massively behind. So they either have to board wipe. Their counter spells are going to become that much less valuable because now they got to worry about the board state instead of holding up counter magic and you just keep the gas going keep the gas going vivian is gas you'll see in the gameplay her minus two gives me a lot of card advantage the plus one is great um it you can use it to you know keep your crinko from having to tap and you can use it to block but i prefer not to do that because there is, there is a lot of combat tricks out there so you don't want to run your Krinko into blocking and then have it die to some stupid combat trick. So I usually just give the plus one to a token, but you definitely can give it to your mutated whatever you have on the field at the time to uh, give it vigilance and reach. But uh, I tend to go with the smarter option, which is just blocking with a token. Uh, but yeah, this deck is, is sweet. This is not a meta deck, but it does really well against meta decks. So I recommend this deck as, as to compete with it. 
Um, if you want to make Mythic, this is a deck that you can try to make a run with to make Mythic. So this deck is that good. But yeah, let's get into the gameplay. I can't keep this. Keep this one. Uh, I like, I want to keep, I want both of these, but I don't want to throw back a land. Um, well, you know what, I'm going to keep Caesar. Throw back the Regal. Man, turn two Vivian on Krinko with this deck is you could just put the opponent back so far behind they can't it's hard to come back from. Especially against counter decks. Let's tear this place apart. The mysteries of life. Of course I want the Krinko. Krinko, so good. Um, just gonna plus on my grazer and pass a turn and flash Krinko in. Like a city brat. So my opponent can't get rid of it unless he's got some instant speed removal. I'm gonna get some mini strengths. Not gonna attack with your mini strengths. Well, I got a Krinko. You have two minute strengths. Yeah. Well, before I do anything with Vivian, go ahead and exile one of these minute strengths. They produce flying tokens, and that's not good for me. So, all right. Attack with Krinko. No blocks. You don't want your minute strength to die. All right, let me just just get some more gas Have with Vivian. A home? Hopefully, I can pick up another land here pretty soon because uh, I need that. Definitely need that land. What you got? You gonna play another mini strength? He's thinking. Some deep thought. I like your mini strength. I like my Krinko better. No! Why are you taking away my Krinko? Wanna attack? No? Okay. <laughs> oh, look, I got another Krinko. Uh, yeah, give it to the token there. Strike now! And, uh, Strike hard! I just pass and flash in Krinko at the end of his turn. I like Vivian paired with the Mutate because her ability to flash stuff gets around removal. So, so good. Go ahead and uh, put this on Krinko. I'll have a Krinko Warden making cats and, and goblins. Don't block with your ministry. <laughs> Um, give one of the tokens to reach and I, I, I often forget that I can give it to my uh, Cub Warden. I, I don't, you know, I haven't played with Vivian too much, so. The Vigilance part sometimes escapes me, but it's okay. I don't really want to block with my Crinkle Warden anyway, because sometimes people have stuff that, you know, combat tricks where they end up killing killing whatever you're blocking with, so most of the time I don't want him on, on block duty. Let's go ahead and plus um one of the tokens here. Tear it down. Tear it all gonna, uh, down. I wanna exile something. Mm, yeah. I don't I gotta take his minute strengths away. Gotta minimize the flyers. I don't want him getting flyers. Uh, go ahead and swing with the team. Everything except for my, my two blockers. Yeah, this is the one with the, the reach, right? Yeah, okay. Um, 
I'm not gonna play the goose because he might have board wipe. So I think I'm committed enough to the board to where I, I mean I got the game one if he doesn't play a board wipe, so doesn't appear that he has one, so I think this is pretty much game here. Flash in the goose for some overkill. <laughs> And uh, yeah, I'd say this is a wrap here. This got something. Got something, sir? Go ahead and attack with the team. Yeah, that's. Very dead. Yep, I can keep this. Home is playing lures. I love facing lures decks with this uh with this dude. I just own lures decks with this. It's so ridiculous. Lurus has like no answers for this deck. <laughs> How this thing goes is oh, it takes you gas. There is one in a blade of grass. Crinkle's the all star. Yeah, we we definitely ain't worrying about your little scorpion. <laughs> Plus my, my goose here. All and things pass begin the turn. and end in nature. Sir Hick, things are about to get bad for you. You're gonna summon lures? Go ahead and summon lures. Okay. Well, you can kill the goose. We ain't, we ain't worried about the goose. You're gonna wish you saved that here in a minute. <laughs> you ain't worried about your gutter bone beater. Are you done? Um, yeah, I'll go ahead and block this scorpion. Another good thing about this when you're facing lures is that it kinda it kinda hoses them because you can block in a way that you don't kill anything. <laughs> so their like their attacks that, huh? just get blanked. Go ahead and uh, mutate Caesar. Oh, we have King Crinko. King. King Crinko. Go ahead and swing with him. I'm gonna give the plus from Vivian to one of the tokens because I'm not gonna block with King Crinko. <laughs> I don't wanna risk him dying from some you combat like trick shenanigans. Rat. You wanna summon lures? Go ahead and summon lures. Lewis is your companion, it's your friend, it's your buddy. Well, that's an easy choice. So you pitch the grazer. I wanted Lewis to come out and play. No attacks? That's sad. Cat can't help you. <laughs> Alright, go ahead and mut mutate this on the King Frinko. King Trinko has flying. Go ahead and swing with everybody. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I know it's two lander, but I got goose, so. This deck is very efficient with two land and starting hand if you have a, a goose. So, typically not afraid, but going against Mono Red here, so. Or what I think to be mono red, so Let's see what else he drops. I'm gonna have a turn two Krinko. Oh, cavalcade. <laughs> definitely, definitely mono red. Alright. Uh, let's 
go ahead and get crinkled down. He's got three cards in his hand, so he wants to waste one on Crinko. Go ahead. <laughs> Better waste it on Crinko than my face. Yep. Alright, that's good. What are you going to kill me with now? <laughs> you have no cards in your hand. Um, go ahead and get another goose down. I'm not gonna. Yeah, I'm not gonna play the grazer for at for any added defense because I, I want to make another food token so I can get my mana ramped up. Oh, oh. Sandra's a little bit of a problem. Just a little bit. No, they're not. They're not cute. My gooses don't think my geese. That's how you say it, right? The geese. My geese don't think they're cute. I'm gonna block them. Make a food token. All right. Uh, I'm gonna mutate the cupboard known to one of my one of my geese. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, I gotta, let me add the mana first, cause I don't, I don't, the game sometimes screws me up, so, it'll, it'll mutate onto the tap goose. <laughs> Alright. Over. Token. Uh. Just gonna, not gonna attack. Should I attack? No, I'm not gonna attack. It's, it's, it's beneficial to me to just hold up blocks right now. Even though he does have a Chandra. Alright. Well, I can get rid of that if I absolutely need to. Well, I'm gonna gain life, buddy, so. Sure, you wanna. Oh, you gonna swing with all. Oh, you gonna swing with nothing. <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna I was gonna gain life there, so I'm really not doing much. Alright, put that on the bottom. Um Do I wanna exile the Spitfire or Chandra? Um Actually I think I think the best thing to do right now is to hold up unbreakable formation. Because I can block the Spitfire with the cupboard and kill it. So, sounds like the, the best choice here. What you got, man? That might be a girl. Elisa? Elisa Kellador? Yeah, that sounds like a female name. What you got, ma'am? <laughs> Oh, you know, minus? You gonna do a uh, lava coil? Yeah, I like to think on my feet. All right. See if you got that lava coil. So oh, what? Why'd you do that? All right. Well, go ahead and swing. That made absolutely no sense, but okay. Let's go ahead and give everything indestructible. I have no clue what my opponent was thinking like behind that line of play. Like why not just make the uh make the tokens with Chandra block like this. I'm gonna kill all this kill all this stuff. Why not just block make the tokens with Chandra and then cast the, the spell and get the two more tokens and swing with them all and massively pump the Spitfire and do lots of damage to me. Man, I, I don't I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna punish the red player now. <laughs> I'm gonna mutate over my cup warden because I want I want a flying Caesar. Flying Caesar is cool. <laughs> I'm just gonna I'm gonna torture the red player now. That was a that was a bad line Ooh, of play. <laughs> All right, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna swing this at you. 
swing this at Chandra, swing this at you, uh, and swing the goose at you. And you can go ahead and block and save the Chandra if you want to. Just gonna toy with him now. <laughs> And play this. <laughs> you got any way to get out of this? I hope it's a, a better line of play than that that one you did just a few minutes ago. Don't worry, I brought company. Well, take a lot more than that. All these cavalcade decks, they never learn. They never learn. Cavalcade is so 10 years ago. Alright. Had enough of Chandra. Get her out of here. I'm burnt Bet out. you block with your score spitter here. <laughs> Got anything? Got anything to stop this, this madness? This beatdown? Oh. That's not gonna get it. I'm the best fire Maybe I ought to just. I'm gonna swing all out at the Chandra. Bad for you. And, uh. <laughs> and kill her. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, turn three Vivian. Or turn two Vivian. Always a keep. Gotta keep those hands. Getting Vivian online on turn two before they even have an opportunity to, uh, to get anything out to threaten her is like, oh wait a minute, Krinko. <laughs> yeah, let's uh, cancel out Vivian. Might not have drawn another land anyway, so it's better to get the threat down versus playing Vivian and not drawing a land and not being able to cast anything. All right. Turn two Krinko is exceptionally better than Vivian. <laughs> uh oh. All right. You know, I I've been facing I face a lot of control decks with this build, um, and I I typically don't even put those put control matchups in my videos because they get to be so long and drawn out and boring. You make a few token here. But um I think I'm gonna put one on this on this uh on this video. This will probably need a counter spell. <laughs> yeah. yeah but I think uh I've been doing really well with this deck against control so I think I'm gonna put one in the control matchup just to show that this deck can can beat control. I'm gonna put a control matchup on the video. Well, now we gotta try to fight around the counter spells. Pretty sure, uh. uh yeah, I'll pay for it to try to maybe psych them out. I don't think I got something else. Maybe make them think that this is bait. Oh, alright. I didn't expect it to resolve. Not so Get some much. more gas. You can still walk away. God dang it, Vivian. You led me down here. Uh, alright. Well. I wanna go ahead and put this down. No, 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 I, no. What am I doing? I can't even I can't mutate that. I don't have enough mana. Uh for one what is he gonna do right now oh okay well that notifies my my Vivian now that was my uh didn't need another one of those let me show you All what right. was lost. Um, 
I'll go ahead and attempt to mutate the cup warden onto the goose. It's going to meet a counter here. This is why I don't put these in my video because nobody wants to see 20 counter spells cast in a game. But if I uh, pull the victory out on this, I'm going to put it on the video. I've got time. Yeah, I'm sure you do. Time and counter spells. Lots of it. Oh. Is this going to get to ferry off the board? Nope. Mystical potato. It's got all the counters. He's down to two cards in his hand, so. Maybe he's running out. Starting over is the only way. Right. Gotta try to get something to stick. Hopefully I can get something to stick here. Alright, he's tapping out. That's good. Alright, gotta make something happen now. Here goes nothing. I uh, didn't need that, but all right, let's go ahead and uh, mutate onto the goose. Uh, minus, well, I'm just gonna plus for now. So I can't, uh, so. strike now, strike hard. Um, yeah, I'll take. Take the Regal. Um, just pass. Okay. Trust me, I have a plan. Oh, I was afraid he was gonna do that. All right, well, that changes stuff. So, okay. Uh, I, actually, I don't care about Vivian dying because her passive, her static ability is being nullified not anyway. Bad. So, uh, she's not as important. Let's go ahead and. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and mutate this onto the grazer. I can get to ferry off the board now. <clears throat> Boost down. Let's go ahead and get to ferry out of here. I think that might have been the turning point of the game by him deciding to swing at my Vivian. Let's see what he got now. What you got, Mystical? Oh, another crazy. Alright, I'm gonna eat the five. I don't wanna give up any creatures. I need I need creatures on board. All right, I'm gonna mutate the the regal onto my cup warden. Give everybody a big boost here. Then I'm gonna do unbreakable formation. Give him another boost, and uh, he's gonna eat a lot of damage here. Yeah, it's nice. I know. Play the, do I care to play a goose? I guess it really doesn't matter, but um, I'll just save it. Um, yeah, you're thinking. I don't, I don't see him swinging at me this turn. 
it's gonna take more than that to stop me. Okay, that's seven creatures. He must be he's playing Uro Uro now. So we have three. I have seven creatures. I'm gonna gain three lives. Uh, uh, I'm gonna do formation. They're all gonna be plus one. So yeah, he's still dead. <laughs> he can only block three of them. So yeah, you're you're very dead here. Um, do I wanna be cheeky here? Uh, no. Let me just go ahead and just. This is a control deck, so let me just go ahead and just in this. Yep, it's my go. You're dead. That, ladies and gentlemen, is how you fight through control. Peter done. Oh, my man is kind of wonky here, but I'm I'm gonna keep this. Try to make it work. I'm not gonna be able to get a a turn two Krinko off, but. Um, still working. Alright, that's good. That way, I can play Grazer, and then I can play Goose. Oh, I just noticed my opponent's playing Lures. I've been loving going against these Lures decks. Lures decks are so easy to beat with this deck. <laughs> They have like, Lure Stakes have no answer for this. Just looking at my goose. I'm gonna give my goose minus negative three, negative three. Did a little enchantment. Oh. oh, it's minus two, minus two. I don't know why I thought it was minus three. Uh, I blocked the. Oh, there is one that. There is one that says minus three in it, I think. Go ahead and play Krinko. I don't know. I don't play Lure Stick. I know a lot of people are playing it, but. I don't like it. Um. I'll just block the Flyer. No, oh, I'm gonna block the Knight, because I wanna entice him to kill, him, kill the Grazer. Make him spin his mana on that. Yeah. I'd rather him spin his mana on that than, than play lures. I don't want lures out right now. Uh can't draw a land, so uh I think I think I just play formation here. And uh swing in so I can get some tokens to defend myself. You can block with your vampire. Perfect <laughs> deal. Alright. Got some chumpers now. I don't want to be eating too much damage from that knight. Looking at my Krinko. Alright. Gonna chump the knight here. Gonna play your lures. More vampires. Man, so much death touch. Alright, I can't draw a land, so just let me. I'm gonna get these gooses down. Uh, geese. Get these geese in the play. So, next turn, I can uh, mutate. I can mutate the phoenix on the Krinko, so Krinko can fly. Gonna play lures? Why don't you play lures? I want lures to come play. Uh, I'm gonna block these death touches. Let me get them off the field. Yeah, yes. I'll just leave it at that. I don't care about something here for the night. Waste man on him means you don't play Lures. Alright. 
Now I can mutate on the Krinko here. Just pick anyone. Doesn't matter. Go ahead and swing in. All right. Now he won't be uh he won't be doing any more damage to me. At least not combat damage anyway. I'll uh, mutate the Cub Warden onto my flying Krinko here so I can start gaining life back. Hajan Hajanga. It's not going to help you, man. I'm going to block the flyer. I'll put, uh, oh, oh. I'll put one of the goblins in front of the, the knight here. And this game is pretty much over now at this point. This is how you uh, just overrun a lure deck. You gonna play your death toucher? You gonna play your, your enchantment? Kill my goose? That's fine. Uh, Alright, let's go ahead and get the cup warden. Now it's a flying cub, cub goblin, I guess. <laughs> More importantly, it's gonna be gaining me, it's gonna gain me eight life. And create create eight more tokens. Could swing all out, but just gonna accumulate my masses right now. <laughs> Got any answers? Bet you wish you had a cry of carnarium right now, huh? Oh that would that would demolish your board too. So maybe not. Oh, uh, yeah. Just go ahead and block these two. This deck is so great on it's it's great on the fact that when playing against lures, that you don't have to kill this stuff. Like you know, lures wants this stuff to die a lot so they can get tokens and whatnot, flying token spirits and stuff. But you don't you don't have to kill anything. So. I don't want to get, get Vivian down. Beasts are much more reliable than humans. Uh, go ahead and give this flying. I mean, uh, vigilance and Starting reach the only to way. block the bird. Swing for eight. Make nine more tokens. Yeah, I'll go ahead and. Swing all out now. <laughs> oh, he doesn't want his bird to be blocked. <laughs> I'm gonna take it. No, oh, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna block the knight because I don't like you. I don't like the knight. <laughs> take all the rest of it. Yep. Let's go ahead and uh, put add, add insult to injury here. It is over. Very over. <laughs> Good game, man. Good game. <laughs> There you have it. Now you mutate. Sweet deck, sweet deck, sweet build. I hope you guys enjoy that. Um, I gotta run. I gotta go tend to my son. He's in the next room making a lot of noise if you don't hear him. Um, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Um, creeping closer and closer to a thousand subscribers. So I will be giving away that collector's box to a random subscriber um, once I hit a thousand. So um, please share this video, like this video. Um, Help me out. Help me uh, spread the Scoop Phase Mania. All right. See you guys next time.